There it is, folks. That's a luxury toy hauler. And I am Duke here at Holiday World of Katy. We're going to go ahead and take a look at this. So I'm going to show you some of the key features on the outside. Then we'll show you, or I will show you, the uh, luxurious inside. This is a 397TH Grand Design Momentum. So let's go ahead and take a look at the specs on this one first off. It has an unloaded vehicle weight of 16,444 pounds. Gross vehicle weight, 20,000 pounds. So that means it's got a cargo capacity of about 3,500 pounds. And you need that because you're going to be carrying golf cart, side-by-side, uh, -side, or motorcycles, things like that. Over here on the side, you've got a water heater and a furnace. Here's your 50 amp service right here. So we're going to try to move along a little bit here. This is your wet bay area convenience center where it's got your hot and cold shower, your cable and satellite uh, connections there, all your fresh water, water filter, low point drains over there are those red and blue. And you've got the black and gray tank uh, levers right there. Uh, it does have the auto leveling. It's a hydraulic system like you'd find in the most luxury, true luxury fifth wheels. There's the instructions for it if you want to freeze that, but the auto leveling you can raise it and lower it while you can see the kingpin so that works out real well show you a couple of the construction features here it's got the pex plumbing it's got this vapor barrier up here it's got double welded aluminum there are some uh, so-called luxury brands where they they'll just put a little plate right here and there'll be screws in there it's hard to believe but that'll actually cut the corners like that but they don't do that on uh, grand design this is a nice brand right here so we'll go ahead and take a look. So this one does have a solar charge controller and a generator and a solar panel. So it's set up to do some serious boondocking if you need to. Here is a generator, 5500 Onan. It's a Cummins generator. It's got a gas ta tank here on board. It runs on gasoline. There is the uh, Jaboni solar charge controller right there. And it does have a uh, hydraulic system here. So. That'll run your slides and your uh, leveling. So that's what that that's what you'll find on a true luxury fifth wheel. It's got a 30 pound propane tank on each side, just like that. And then you have the other side of the pass through right here. Got frameless windows. There's a couple of awnings out here. You see the big frameless windows inside right there. There is a dinette and a uh, theater seat area. You don't normally find that on toy haulers. This is a triple axle toy hauler. It's got a 13 and a half foot garage. You're going to need a dual rear wheel truck for this one. So don't let anybody tell you anything different. Don't listen to them. You need dual rear wheel, one ton truck. That's what you need. It's got tire pressure monitoring system. That's a vent in the back you can open up if you're carrying uh, something with the gas tank on it. So this door in the back opens up. It works as a ramp and also as a patio. There is an awning up there. And then it's got the ladder on the side. It's a nice rig right here, folks. Here is your, uh, it's got two gas tanks right here. I don't know if this is locked. Let me take a look. No, it's not locked. So you can see there's two gas tanks and then there is a pump. So if you have gas in here and you want to pump some in there, run your generator, you can do that. So uh, it does have the gas tanks. It has a solar panel up on the roof. Go ahead and close that real quick. There we go. There's your triple axles. And it's got this Moride CRE 3000 suspension. Reduce wear and tear on your rig. It's a nice suspension. It's got a nice kingpin over here also. Uh, it's a Moride kingpin. This is reduces chucking or the effects of chucking. You can't make chucking go away. It's a phenomenon that exists where the trailer wants to do one thing, truck wants to do something else, but it reduces the wear and tear on your rig to have a nice uh, uh, kingpin like this uh, Moride uh, uh, kingpin. So uh, we're going to go ahead and take a look inside. Take another peek at this one out here in the sunshine at Holiday World of Katy. I appreciate you coming along today. Look, you got a couple of stereo speakers. There is a TV built in already. You don't have to add a TV. It's right here. I'm your video host, Duke, in the sales department here at Holiday World of Katy. I'll be happy to walk you through the sales process on this one. No surprises, no dealer prep fees. It says thump here. It's got fully laminated side walls, uh, rear walls laminated, end walls, the roof slide, the end walls of the slide room. Uh, so uh, it's even got walkable slides. It's got a three-year structural warranty. All the uh, 
keys or all the compartments are key to like it's got the rockford fosgate sound system weather tech arctic insulation it is very well insulated it's a 397 ths that's a toy hauler and we are here at holiday world of katy katy texas we we'll go on inside just west of houston sorry i got my finger in the camera shot there we walked into a luxurious living area here a little bit of a glare so here's something you won't find on most toy haulers right off the bat a dinette and look it's got a lot of space so you can back the chairs up you are not crammed in there you don't have to sit up close to the table it will they will back up on both sides so you out right here surrounded by windows in a dinette so this is uh, very rare in toy haulers that's the challenge with toy haulers to have a uh, a nice living area because you're giving up this has a 13 and a half foot garage so you're giving up some living space but you can use that for a living space you can sleep uh, two queen beds in there so you can sleep about four adults in there with no problem but it, on this slide out it's got a uh, it's got some theater seats right here recliners Thomas Paine collection and then it's got this dinette the other thing that you don't find on toy haulers uh, is this a lot of pantry space well this one has pantry space look at that huge pantry beautiful pantry door with these glass inserts nice quality hardware on there uh, look at this island it's got a solid counter this is a solid countertop right here that is very solid and it's got two bar stools the other one is right here but it's got two bar stools that are very stylish and they match the uh, seats for your dinette so you can use that for a place to sit down you can use this for counter space you could eat breakfast there if you wanted to and look at this this subway tile this is real tile this isn't uh some something's just glued on here this is nice you got subway tile you've got electrical connections puck lights here you can put a coffee this is a coffee bar put your uh air fryer your instant pot your keurig your coffee pot look at all that storage there I'm not going to open up every one of them but you got a lot of storage here and that is a great thing on a uh, rv so this one this fridge will run on propane or electric you've got those two 30 pound propane tanks the good thing about that is if you're going to be doing some off-grid camping this, this rig is designed to do it. You've got a generator. You've got a fridge will run on propane or electric. It has a solar package on it. It's got a 2,000 watt inverter, a 300 watt solar panel, a Jaboni uh, solar controller. You notice that stove? Look at that. Look at that cooktop. That's a residential cooktop right there, folks. Four burners. Nice hardware there nice grates look at that oven is a full-size oven you could put a if you want to cook a turkey a turkey will fit in there huge vegetarian casserole whatever whatever you want to cook it's got some nice cabinets big huge microwave so lots of storage you've got this uh, industrial motif on the lighting and that gooseneck uh, faucet right there so uh, that matches and you've got this uh, uh, dual basin uh, sink here so the way they've designed this which is a good design uh, you have this uh, divider here for two separate basins but it's down in the sink so if you have a large pan and you want to rinse it off it will fit in the sink you can do that but you still have two separate basins if you want to uh, use that for washing and rinsing whatever you know how sinks work I'll do cover that in another video after I figure it out I'll wash some dishes all right, so what do you want to look at? The bedroom area or the, okay, the garage. I heard you. It's a 13 and a half foot garage. It's got the two, essentially queen beds that, that come down on these tracks over here. Uh, and the bottom one, it, uh, those seats flip up, or they flip up into seats and you can put a table in the middle of it so you can use it for seating. This, uh, it does have the screened in area here that you can close out and air condition this area. It's got an awning. There's a TV up there. Sorry about the lighting, it's not great in here. Some cubby storage. Couple of, look at those speakers up there. You got speakers, you got a tinted glass door. So you can close off the living area here with the tinted door, air condition this area, and open up your garage if you wanted to do that. 
It's very versatile. There's the ladder that goes up into that uh, bunk that's up here. You could also use it for storage if you needed to. So it's up to you, however you want to do it. Just make sure everything's secure. Did I say this has one and a half baths? I, if I did, I was wrong. This is two full baths. You got the cubby storage right there. Now you have a shower. The shower's not huge, but it's got a shower curtain. So that's a good design. If you put a shower door on this, this is this curtain will give. It gives you a little bit more elbow room. So you've got a full bath back here. If you've got a crew back here, family, friends, co-workers, whatever you've got, employees, your mother-in-law, they can stay back here in this garage area and be very comfortable. You can make this very homey. You can decorate it however you want. Got these valances here, these solid valances that when you put the blinds down, uh, you you can't see in the edges. And look, there's a little place to pull it right here. I don't know if you can see that. So you can see my finger. All right, so you just pull this and uh, see if somebody's walking by at night, they can't see in. This is a nice rig. All right, and then you have this. Uh, Lippert One Control, which basically it controls your uh, HVAC, the heater, air conditioner, the slides, the awnings, all your water levels. You can check your t holding tanks and things like that. And you can download an app and uh, do all that from your phone. So you could check that out online. But look, there's four speakers in this room in here. So you have four speakers here, two in the back. And uh, this bathroom is nice. You've got some of these rigs you'll see have a built in seat. The advantage of this is you have a big area for standing up. If you want to sit down, this folds down, but it's out of the way when it's not down, when it's not deployed. You've got a shower that hits you from several angles. There's a couple of sprayers there, there's up there, natural sunlight coming in. You got those baskets where you can put your shampoo, liquid soap, cubby storage here, standard bathroom stuff, but it is. Uh, it's got a corner medicine cabinet. And then look in here. This one is huge in here. This is deep. Or I say huge. More than you'd expect to find back in here. It's, it goes back pretty far. I can't even reach back there. And a little small area here. I don't know what you can keep up there. But you can keep some stuff up there. Got a well-positioned toilet. Plenty of hip and leg room. So you enter. There's a pocket door from the bedroom into the bathroom. And then this uh, beautiful... Uh, glass inserts on this door right here so you can enter the bedroom either way the other thing about that is you can open both of those up and, and it opens up the room if you're you've got skylights in there you've got a window right there and you just don't want to have a claustrophobic feeling that this trailer is not level right now so this door is coming normally you would put it right here but it is coming open by itself because it's not level and uh but it just opens up this room so that's kind of a nice the little nice touches here got windows all the way around this bed you got a beautiful headboard king size bed you can walk around this bed and get on it and then this is a closet design i've seen in other fifth wheels that i really do like in the center there you've got these shelves that you could take out and it is set up for with washer dryer connections so you could have a uh, a uh, combo unit stackable whatever you want and then there is a uh, wardrobe and drawer area there so it's the same on both sides and you do have usb and 110 on both sides of the bed also but with this uh, wardrobe you've got two drawers on the bottom place to hang up your clothes lots of room there it's very deep and then you have another so you have two spaces just like this one on each side and then if you're not using the washer dryer you've got a huge amount of storage space there you may give up some of that if you're going to uh, put a washer dryer in there and then you have a chest of drawers here tv so it's got three acs hey thanks for viewing my video i'm duke my cell phone number is 281-467-0659 it's in the description below i'll be happy to help you with this rv or any of the rvs featured on my channel uh, be happy to tell you how easy it is to do business over here at Holiday World at Katy. Don't charge any dealer prep fees. There is the vacuum right there. You can just flip that and uh, sweep uh, right into that vacuum. Hook a hose up to it right there. It comes with that so you don't have to lug a vacuum cleaner around. But we'll make it easy for you. If you have any questions, just send me a text. 
467-0659. That's got a Max Air vent fan there. It is rain sensitive. You can see there's a little umbrella there. I don't know if you can see it in the glare. So that will move a lot of air if you want to ventilate this rig. And you have another one of those here in the bathroom. There is that little rain sensor I was telling you about. So it's rain sensitive. Or that image of an umbrella is what that is. Hey, thank you again for viewing my video. Look forward to hearing from you. Hey, it's Duke here. And today I just wanted to give you a little uh, introductory tour to our dealership. I'm at Holiday World of Katy out here in uh, Katy, Texas. Actually in Waller County, a little bit west of uh, Houston. But we're in the Houston area. We've got a ton of motorhomes. Uh, Class C, Class A, Super C, Class B. We've got all types of drivable, new and used. Uh, we've, we're an Airstream dealer. So we carry good brands. We've got Airstream, we've got Grand Design, and Keystone. Do a little research, you'll find out that those are very good brands. They're some of our Sprinter vans. There's some Airstreams right there that happen to be in that particular area. We have the Keystone Hideouts, the Springdales, the Bullets, Passports. Oh yeah, we have a lot of teardrops. Look at that. We got teardrops, we got the new camps, we got the little guys. We are uh, we have the Keystone Alpines, Montana's. We have all three of the top selling luxury fifth wheels on the market. Montana and the Grand Design Solitude. We have the Alpine. Those are the top three selling luxury fifth wheels. We also have the Avalanche and uh, we have the Sprinter fifth wheels. Uh, so we've got a wide variety of inventory. I'm going to go ahead and let you see. These are the passports right here. Some of them. The Cougar. That's a great brand. Keystone Cougar. Those, those have a warranty for full-time use. And then the high luxury uh, Outback travel trailers, bumper pulls. You can see the... Uh, we got bullets. We got bullet premieres. So I'm not going to show you everything. Uh, but just giving you an idea that we got a lot of inventory. We've got the uh, Grand Design Transcends, the Reflections, Bumper Pull, and we have Reflection Fifth Wheels, which are a low profile fifth wheel, a uh, similar maybe size as a Cougar or a Sprinter, things like that. But we just have a wide variety of inventory. We've got toy haulers here, Fusion, Raptors, Carbons, uh, Impacts, uh, Grand Design Momentums. We've got bumper pull toy haulers, and uh, we do have some pre-owned fifth wheels too. Here's a few of them right here. So I'm going to show you some other stuff also, but just giving you a quick overview. We've got the infrastructure here. We have a finance department, four finance representative, business managers, and then a supervisor. It's five people, and that's just at one of our six dealerships. So we've got some buying power and finance. They will get you submitted to the right institution and get you the best uh, rate available for your situation. So you can see all those pre-owned travel trailers. There are some more pre-owned fifth wheels. This is our uh, pre-delivery shop right over here. Uh, where before the, the, the RV is uh, delivered to you, we go through it front to back, and uh, here's where we fill them up with gas. We put gas and batteries uh, here at Holiday World and everything. We don't charge extra for that on the new units, and uh, or even the used ones, they all come with gas. Uh, uh, if they're drivable, they come with uh, propane, they come with the battery. Uh, we have a make ready department and we don't charge extra for dealer prep we don't charge extra for anything no hidden fees that is not the the majority of dealers unfortunately aren't doing that they have these extra dealer prep fees this is our campground right here with full hookups there's sewer water electric so once you make a deal what we do is uh, we get it all prepped up for you put the battery the sorry about the wind noise i'm going to turn around here we put the battery propane uh, put some water in it get it all hooked up over here in our delivery line uh, and then we will go through it with you show you how everything works inside and out it might take a couple hours no problem no extra charge then you are welcome to stay in our campground for a few days and check it out we have uh, we'll make a reservation for you as part of the process so uh, 
My name is Duke. I'm here at Holiday World of Katy. My phone number is 281-467-0659. So I just wanted to give you a quick introduction. Here, I'm going to go ahead and write that down for you right here. I'm going to show you in real time, if I could do it, 281 four six seven zero six five nine there it is that's my phone number it's my cell number hey folks thanks for tagging along on this video tour of holiday world of houston we are the number one volume dealer in the houston area my name is duke i will be happy to personally welcome you into the rv lifestyle walk you through the process make it a great experience for you and get you camping in your new rv we've got all the accessories i'm an rver myself i love rvs i love seeing happy campers and if you have questions along the way you can call me on my cell phone i will always be happy to help you my phone number is 281-467-0659 so please click that thumbs up button and i look forward to hearing from you thank you very much